That's right, Superman has a Web3 movie experience launching. They got me also. I thought it was a brand new movie. It is the same movie that came out back in the days, but it is the new Web3 experience that they are launching. Before we talk about the Web3 features, let's talk about the blockchain that's being launched on. Illuvio is the platform that has teamed up with Warner Brothers to launch three Web3 movies. Okay, movies is the wrong word. Experiences is the right one. Let's dial it back a quick second. If you didn't know, crypto runs on nodes. Anyone can host a node, you can host it on your computer, but more recently it's moved on to bigger servers like ones owned by Amazon or in the cloud. How decentralized and distributed is it if Amazon runs half of the Bitcoin nodes and of course it's not as decentralized. Back to the point being that Illuvio has utilized blockchain technology to centralize server nodes to now host media files. So anyone can hold an Illuvio node, you, me, anyone, it could even be Amazon. Illuvio claims that hosting decentralized centralized media files will make it 50 times more efficient, 80% less costly than clouds and CDNs, obviously, because they're utilizing personal computers. And the benefit for those personal computers we'll talk about in a second is they get to make some money. Lastly is tamper-free ownership, meaning if the whole network goes down, let's say you bought a movie of iTunes and iTunes goes down, you're going to lose that media file. But if you own it with Illuvio, it's going to be on the blockchain forever, as long as those nodes exist. How this technology works is beyond me, but if you're very tech savvy, Illuvio has a white paper where they go through the entire process from the user click all the way to them watching the media file. They even have a whole creative flow chart that talks about the tokenomics. If you own a node and validator, it walks you through how you can make some money. Well, the sale starts in 20 hours, but I do get pre-access because I am a DC NFT holder and you get a Web3 experience by owning some digital NFT posters. With the purchase of the premium NFT photos, you also get the Web3 movie, which is just the original Superman movie, but hosted on blockchain servers. You also get two additional versions of the feature film though, a Superman expanded director's cut, kind of like the Snyder's cut, and Superman the movie extended TV edition. Here's the artwork by the DC notable illustrators. This one's by Ivan Reyes, Ben Oliver, and the last one's by Bill, I can't even say his last name. I'm waiting to see where the Web3 comes in because these additional benefits are found on bonus DVDs that you could buy in you know Web1 land. Immersive menus, theatrical version, hours of special features, curated image galleries, those are all Web2 things. I guess this last part, which I'll talk about a little bit more, is Web3. You get a voucher for a DC3 Super Power Pack. This is actually a Superman comic book release on the DC Marketplace, which I'll show you in just a second. Basically, it's comic book collecting in the 21st century through an NFT. Now, if you don't want to buy the NFT photos for $100, you can buy the movie just by itself, and that alone is $30. You still get a voucher for the free Superman NFT comic book. So let's go over there, and I'll show you that. Before we do that, let's go on the Open Marketplace Activity tab and show you what kind of sales are occurring. It seems like some people are buying this for twice the price. Look at the Superman movie just purchased 19 hours ago for $299. Actually, that's three times the price. I guess people like me who are in pre-sale bought it for $100 and flipped it out for $300, which is crazy because you can just wait until when the public sale is, which is in 20 hours. Here one hour ago, you can see someone sold the movie for $35, $5 more for a small profit. And here again, we see someone selling the photo and the movie, which they bought for $100 for $200. If you want to learn how to flip NFTs and make some money, even in today's economy, you can see people doing it by the day. I just showed you two or three of them. Click on my link down below. I'll talk about it every day in my private NFT community. Now, let me walk you over to DC Universe's NFT comic book marketplace. Not only comics, they do trading cards. They also do individual NFT objects that give you access to free goodies, which I'll show you in a second. So here's a comic book. You can read it in any and all device and really you just connect your account and you just buy a comic book and it's hosted on your DC account online. Here's the DC3 Super Power Pack that you get with the movie purchase, which costs $9.99. So that's already a $10 value there. This is an open edition mint, which means, again, as many as people demand will be supplied. Just like in the real world, they have different cover pages, and here are the different five. Now, you can see with the different cover pages, there's different rarities, with the one that is most rare being the legendary at only 5%. With this particular drop, because it's an open edition, you actually get three comics. So they have flippers in mind here. So you get three out of these five. We don't know if you're going to get an epic, a legendary, a common, whatever, but you can then sell these on the open marketplace. We can see that in the marketplace, some of these kind of books are holding up to value 11500 for a legendary original Superman 1 cover. DC first launched their NFT collection with the Batman Cow, which is the Batman mask, as you see right there. Here are some cool benefits that you get with the Bat Cow. 
Right here it says, keep an eye on announcement for an opportunity to RSVP an advanced screening of The Flash at theaters across you. So they're gonna email you a link if you hold this particular NFT to see an advanced screening. Now if that's free, this NFT may be worth it in the future because there's gonna be a ton of DC movies coming out. Warner Brothers has signed a contract for it looks like three movies, at least for this year with Illuvio. Lord of the Rings came out, Superman's coming out. I wonder what's next. I'm not affiliated with Warner Brothers or DC, but I just think this is super cool that big companies are coming into NFTs. Like I mentioned, check out my link down below for more alpha, but not to worry, subscribe because I have free market updates weekly. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.